your relationship with alcohol like before the comeback? It was ugly, man. It was a love hate. I used to love getting fucked up. And then I hate the way I felt the next day. And then I hated the way it made me feel for days. And then my relationship would spiral out of control. And then I'd, I'm never using you again. And then I'd use it again. It's kind of like a crutch, like a friend, but you know, wasn't a good situation, man. Nah, you know. What's your relationship with alcohol like right now, the day after you come back? Non existent. Non existent. I don't get involved with it. I don't plan on getting involved with it one day at a time type thing. I just don't fuck with it. No. What do you think the biggest gift that the comeback has given you, but ultimately you gave yourself is? Uh, permission to stop lying, to quit hiding behind a fucking facade, you know, of someone I really wasn't. You know, I would be like, oh, yeah, man, I'm this and that, and wanted to be the person people wanted me to be as opposed to being who I am and doing what I want to do, which I do now. Yeah. And and then the guy that's on the fence, like maybe like you were at one time, or that's skeptical, or maybe afraid to make the commitment to themselves. I was sitting right in your fucking shoes. I was just as skeptical, if not more, than you. I searched the internet. I searched everybody. I looked at all these people. I tried different things. I tried to quit by myself. And I met, actually, I looked you up on YouTube. I watched your YouTube. I said, this fucking crazy guy can do it. Maybe he knows something. And I wanted to talk to you before I even joined. And I talked to you, and I was like, this is it. This is the guy. And then I was still skeptical. And I was like, well, but if you do the work, you do this shit, you want it. I mean, it's really, it's not easy, but it's pretty easy. Are it's a lot easier than you could say. Are you skeptical now? No. <laughs> Fuck no. I wouldn't be here if I was skeptical.